You know, I can't necessarily say that that was all bad. I can't say that it was all horrible. Even though I could, but I think the right word for this is just embarrassing. It's embarrassing. Like, it's embarrassing what, what I had to sit through. It was supposed to be 75 laps. It was 59 laps. And it took longer than what 75 laps was supposed to be. Like, the truck race probably would have been over by the time that, that ended. And that was a, that was, it's going to be 100 laps. The truck race. Um, so yeah, that was awful. Just completely fucking atrocious. Um, that was horrible in every way. Um, fucking... So we started the race, uh, the Clash. It was a 75-lap non-points race around Daytona, so it probably should have taken us maybe about an hour, maybe an hour and ten minutes, just a little over an hour it was supposed to take us. But, um, <clears throat> it took us two hours and even the entire distance in because of rain. There was rain around lap 10, which put a red flag to the race for about 20 minutes. And then there was another one around lap, mm, I'm going to say around lap 40. And it, that was, that was quick. That was only, that was only like 10 minutes. I think that was. And then there was a, they went back racing. They had all the single file bullshit, which I just hate. I hate that. I hate that shit. The entire race was just the single file bullshit. Kyle Busch started second. He he led the first lap. Um, but just the single file bullshit over and over again. Just wasn't fun. Not fun to watch. I, I don't even know why I watched it. <sighs> And then we got to, like, the real, just pure atrocity that this race was. When it got to the finish, which was with 16 laps to go because of rain. But Jimmy Johnson ended up trying to make a move on Paul Menard, who dominated the race. Paul Menard dominated that race. He deserved that win um, because he just really hasn't gotten... He got one win back in 2011, and he just hasn't won since then. So, he deserved that win. Even though, even though it was a non-points race, he still deserved it. Um, Jimmy John tried to make a move on Paul Menard, which it looked like it was going to be successful, but I knew right from the get-go that it was going to be a big wreck. And it was. Um, Johnson got around him, which I guess worked out for Johnson's sake, but... Um, he ended up spinning Pominard and collecting 17 cars. 17 cars were involved in that wreck. The ones who got by were Johnson. Okay, so 16 cars, but it was 17 cars because Johnson was also involved in it. It was Johnson who got by, Logano got by, Bellini got by, and Curtis got by. Um... I thought Kyle was going to get by for a little bit there, and then he just kind of, he was spinning. And then I was like, all right, he still will probably leave without much damage. But then he got into a big crash with Kyle Larson in there too. So that's unfortunate. But yeah, I don't necessarily think what Johnson did was wrong. I mean, it was wrong, but like, I don't blame him for doing it. He just, he tried to get by Paul Menard. So I can't really blame him for doing that. But it's just like, I wish, like, because Johnson won the race. I just kind of wish he, like, was able to prove the win worthy. And didn't just get it handed to him, pretty much. Like, I know he had to fight to get up there. Like, I just kind of wish there was, like, another restart. Just so he could kind of prove that he could hold that lead. After he just blatantly wrecked Paul Menard and the entire field. So... It's bullshit, but are we surprised? Are we surprised anymore, guys? Are you really surprised that, that NASCAR is just full of bullshit? 
we, we go single file racing for the entire race, and then the last lap, which wasn't even supposed to be the last lap, Johnson wrecks the entire field, and Johnson wins the race. So he lost his, he, he ended his winless streak. Not really, though, because it wasn't a points race. He's back in victory lane, but, um, like I said, it's not a points race, so it doesn't really count. His winless streak is still going. But, fuck. Yeah, it was just embarrassing. Like, it really was. I was sitting there, the live stream was two hours and eight minutes, so... The race was supposed to take just over an hour, and it didn't even reach its full distance, and it was two hours, so. I'm pissed, rightfully. We don't see any race until Thursday, so that's great. Fucking beautiful. That's when the duels happen. And then we'll see you on Friday will be the truck race. Saturday will be the Xfinity race. Sunday will be the day 2500, so I'm excited for that. And I don't know. I just feel like we deserve better. We we definitely deserve better, but we didn't get better, so that's just what it is. All right, guys. If you guys like this, leave a like on it. If you dislike this video, if we dislike it, hey, comment. Tell me exactly what I did wrong. Be sure to subscribe to notifications, and as always, goodbye, kitty cats.